we have a global goal to replenish 100% of the water we use, including in the production of our beverages. And so right here, specific to you know South Africa, we have a project called Replenish Africa Initiative where we've committed to um, give back water to two million, or access to water to two million Africans. We did an uh, initial trial in, in Ghana in uh, five elementary schools um, outside of Accra and uh, we delivered 140,000 liters of, of, uh, of clean, uh, safe drinking water for them um, over a period of six months. Um, and that water came from the River Densu, which was uh, not very drinkable water. Um, and uh, we, uh, we saw the impact that we could have on a uh, rural community in a developing nation like that. And uh, it reinforced, I think, the vision that that, uh, that both Dean and, and Mutar had. But just to talk a little bit more about the technology itself. Uh, so as, as B mentioned, it's, uh, the core technology is vapor compression distillation. Um, and so it takes any source water um, through a uh, series of um, very efficient heat exchanges um, is able to um, bring that water to boil. Um, and then uh, the system then adds a little bit of pressure and a little bit of temperature um, to that steam by putting it through a compressor. Um, that, uh, that steam then comes over to the other side to the condensation side and it sees those relatively uh, cool surfaces or warm surfaces as cool uh, because you've added that bit of temperature. Uh, that pure water then condenses in that space um, and then is collected and, uh, and distributed out.